Today's story is Jesus Calms the Storm. This is from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. Jesus was teaching, and he was teaching in a boat. So here he is in the boat. Here's Jesus, and he has his arms out. He's teaching um, to the people on the shore. So here's the shore, and here's the water, and here are all the people on the shore who've come to hear Jesus speak. Now Jesus is in the boat, and his disciples are also in the boat. Here's Jesus, and here are his, that's a lot of hair. Here are his disciples. So, the Bible tells us that when evening came, here's the sun high in the sky, and the sun is going down, it's evening has come, and now the stars are out, la, 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 beautiful stars, what a pretty night. Jesus says, okay, let's go to the other side. They say, okay, why are they going to the other side? Well, they're going to the other side because it's less crowded. All the people, uh, it's a busy time, and I think Jesus wants to have quiet time. It's good to have quiet time. La, 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 la. So there they go, off to the other side. So meantime, here they go off to the other side. Are they gone yet? No, they're not. It was a long way to the other side. Okay, so they get to the other side. They're at the other side of the lake, and a storm comes up. Well, storms are very busy. There's a lot of stuff going on. Put some other clouds over here. A big squall. Lots of wind. Lots of clouds. It was very stormy. That's a little too stormy. So everybody's very afraid. And the waves got so big that uh, sometimes the waves are small. But these waves got so big that they came in the boat. Oh! And Jesus' disciples were very afraid because they were afraid the water would swamp the boat. Uh, what that means is if the boat gets so heavy, ah, it starts to get like so much water in it that the boat might sink. So here they are. They're very, very afraid. And uh, it says, uh, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? They're very afraid about all this storm, all this water and storm and everything blowing around. And so Jesus gets up. And he rebukes the wind. That means he yells at the wind. He says to the waves, quiet, be still. And the wind died down. Oops. And it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? And they were surprised and they asked each other, who is this? Who is this? Even the wind and waves obey him. The disciples were asking each other, Who is Jesus? And why do even the wind and waves obey him? That's a big question. So the Bible doesn't talk about uh, exactly what he said to them, except, Why are you so afraid? And why do you have so little faith? I think what happened... When the waves came in the boat and threatened to swamp the disciples, when the, when the waves came in the boat, and when the disciples were afraid they would sink, I guess what he said to them is, maybe you don't need to worry about the waves. I can help you. I am here with you, even in the middle of storms. And maybe that's what the story is about for us, is that even when we see storms, even when we're afraid, of lots of clouds and lots of waves, that Jesus is with us in the midst of those. And even when those storms are gone, Jesus will still be there with us. It's easy to be afraid when things are frightening, but it's important to remember that Jesus is with us, 
and that there are helping hands that are around us and we can be helpful to others too. That's our story for today.